Hello everyone and welcome to Crafting with Amy. I'm Amy and today I have four DIYs I think. This first one, I really like this. I'm not a, I don't normally do um, vintage Christmas and I've got to apologize. I started this video trying to talk as I was doing it so I wouldn't get sidetracked. So I had to do a lot of editing because sometimes I would remember to do it and other times I wouldn't. But this first one I'm starting with a coffee can and because of the um, grooves in it, I wanted to put something thicker around it so those wouldn't show through. So I have cut this faux leather from Dollar Tree. And now I'm just hot gluing it on. Yeah, some parts of it and I lost footage because I would forget to talk other times. I was talking and I just had to delete all of the audio and start over with a voiceover. I don't cover the entire can with the um, hot glue because I didn't want a bunch of bumps and lumps. So now I'm going to take antique parchment and paint because I don't like that color and paint it. I do like the texture of it and that's just, it's not a vinyl, it's just a faux leather from Dollar Tree. And I just went to clip art and typed in Vintage Santa or Vintage Christmas. I have, I think, two vintage in this and two that are um, farmhouse. So now I have cut the Santa head out. I could not resize that image. And I'm going to take some Mod Podge and put on the back. I wasted a bunch of ink trying to resize. I don't know. I used to could do that stuff and now I just, I don't remember how to do any of that. So I put a good coat of Mod Podge because I wasn't real sure how it would stick to that faux leather, but it actually did better than it does on other things for me. Mod Podge and I just don't get along. So again, I want to apologize for the editing. I thought, oh, I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to talk some doing this. Won't get sidetracked. And at one point, I had told my husband that that's what I was doing. And I was talking and he was replying to me. I'm like, dude. And now I'm going to take, um, of course I'll let that dry. But um, I take Waverly Antique Wax. I don't know when this is ever going to be gone. It's getting pretty low. But I'm putting it on a uh, chippy brush, dabbing it off on a paper towel, and going around. I go around the entire thing, but I speed it up.
And this is, you know, in effect, if you like it, do it and just do it to your liking. There's really no right or wrong. In my opinion, there's not. Sometimes I get a little too happy with it and I have to go back and correct it, but cut down some floral foam. I finally got some more. <laughs> it's real great cutting there, but that's a repurposed piece that I'm using because I cut that one piece and it was going to be too thick. And then I just have some, those I believe came from Hobby Lobby. They're just frosted greenery. And I think about that, and I decide no. I wanted to go with the darker. And this was hard to cut. I didn't. I didn't want to put all that in there. So I get my pliers, and this took me a long time to cut. And I hear Miss Coco, she's coming in here. What are you doing, Miss Coco? So now I have these berries from Hobby Lobby. Some picks, cream colored. And I've put those down in there and I've already put down some red ones. I had a hard time finding with all that greenery down in there. It was pretty full down in there from those um, greenery picks, but I get it down in there. <laughs> and I make a little jute bow um, and I put one of those little berries on his hat and I think that's cute. I'm not a big fan, like I said, of the vintage, but I wanted to try to give a variety of different things. So that is the finished product. And if you all are new here, I want to welcome you. And if you like the content, I hope you'll consider subscribing hitting the notification bell, leaving me a comment, and then for any returning subscribers or viewers, I really appreciate you all. So these two I just kind of jumbled into one. I have never gotten these tumbling tower blocks. And the reason is the stores that are local well, ours don't even have them. They didn't even know what they were, but um, the other ones, they usually don't have very many. And I always think about, you know, it's a kid's toy. Save it for the kids, the parents that may not be able to afford, you know, 
something other than the Dollar Tree. But we were at one and they had several. And I was still reluctant to get any. I know a lot of people, you know, they have really great Dollar Trees that stay stocked and everything. But um, I went ahead and got some. And I'm making a snowman hat. So I'm taking six and using my hot glue gun. I try to put the glue toward the bottom so it won't come out the top. I'm going to make two planks of six. And then I'll glue those two together on top of each other. People use these for a lot of things. I think it would probably be best to have one of those little squares, which the only thing I have is a large one that my husband brought in to me and it's, it's too big for my table. Um, now I'm going to take two and put at the top sideways. So I glue that one on and then the next one I'll glue it on the bottom and the side to attach to that one. But I think super glue, wood glue, and maybe a hot glue mixture would be your best bet because it does leave some gaps anytime you do hot glue. And then for the brim, I'm getting the hot glue off because paint will not go over that. I take two, three sets of two and then glue those together. long ways and I had a time painting them because I wanted to do the crackle effect so I lost footage there because I make this and I make two trees because I had to start over with the painting now I'm going to make a stand for the back for this to, to just stand up Oh, first I'm going to glue it onto the, the brim onto the hat. I think it was the, the glue that prevented the crackle method from working. But then I tried it on another project and it didn't work. For, I think it may be the new hair dryer. It doesn't get as hot. And I'm thinking that may be why. Because um, the old one that I had, it got really hot. So this is like the second or third thing I've tried. The crackle effect. Two in this video and... Um, I think last video I tried it so I'm taking three of these and stacking them on top of each other and then I will glue them at the back to make a stand
And now I've already made one tree because I didn't realize I wasn't in a stand that I wasn't recording. But I'm going to take four and glue them together long ways or tall. I guess this is when I was still thinking I was, or that I was talking and sometimes I wasn't. And now I'm going to take three and do the same thing. Just glue them together. And then I'm going to take two. And then that'll be the top. And then one for the um, trunk of the tree. And now center those and glue those. And do the same with those. Center them. And then the top. And then I've got to make a stand, which is just two. I really liked how, how these turned out, though. They're farmhouse looking. I'm just trying to get the glue strands off of me. So this is what I was talking about. Initially, my thought was the crackle method. So I painted the trees white, and then I was going to go over with black, which I did. It didn't work, so then I had to just paint them black. So I paint both of them. I still um, use my hair dryer. But that hair dryer doesn't get as hot as my other one. And it blew up. Stuff flying all over my, my table. But I'll use, because I, I don't have, whoops, patience for paint to dry. And Coco's wanting to play. So I, I cut out the word peace on my Cricut and joy. You could use wood letters, you could stencil. And I have these little wooden, um, are they stars or snow? They're snowflakes. And I'm gonna paint those white for the toppers of the tree. Coco's fussing at me. Here she comes again. She has that tracheitis and she's on medicine for it, but little dogs um, are you fussing at me? She has a time with it. Um, their trachea will collapse. But she's been on a new medicine for it, so hopefully it'll help. What are you doing, Nosy? Now I'm taking this ribbon and putting it around um, above the brim of the hat. It's just a thin, I got that at Walmart, I think, with uh, Christmas trees on it. And I was going to cut out, cut out an image to put on top of it, but I just left it simple. Add a 
a little extra hot glue. Now, now I'm going to take um, this, that garland, it's that garland I get every year, and I haven't had to get any. This is still left over um, from Hobby Lobby from last year. It lasts a long time. It's good quality, but it's it's smaller so I like to use it for stuff like this oh she's really fussing at me she wants me to play <laughs> oh, she's being goofy so I have these little red berries that I also got from Hobby Lobby and I just cut them off the stem. Missy, what is your problem? Hmm? Stop. And I'm putting three Gluing three down there. <laughs> and now I'm going to flock it with some white paint just to give it that snowy effect. So I'm just putting these stars up. They have little stickers on the back. And I also dry brushed some white, since that's the effect I was going for was, that was crackle. And I put some garland down at the bottom, or no, some box, I think it's boxwood and some little berries. And that is the finished product. Cocoa. And I like those. I've never used the Jenga blocks or Tumbling Tower blocks. I'll probably use the rest to play Jenga. <laughs> I don't know. And these are my TikTok and Instagram accounts. And then DIY number three. This is more farmhouse. I take this um, wood round from Amazon and I printed that off. And then I have this fabric that I'm going to Mod Podge onto the sign. The round. And I'm using the method where you put the Mod Podge on, you let it dry, and then you place your fabric and then use an iron. That's the best way I've found um, to get the fabric applied. I like it better. Now I have my little ironing board and I've cut the fabric out and you take parchment paper and I may have had my iron a little bit too hot on this one 
but it worked. I think I may have had some Mod Podge on that uh, parchment paper. So now I have a Cheerio box and I'm going to apply this with just a glue stick to the uh, printable. I cut it down to the size where it would fit. And I just take a uh, stick glue Would you stop meddling around? And I put some weight on it so it will um, now I'm taking this um, is some of that burlap trim from Dollar Tree and gluing it I hot glued down the um, cardboard and I'm just trimming this out and now I've made a little bow with some I don't know where that ribbon came from it has red trucks and Merry Christmas. And I'm going to put a white bead in the center. I did use my easy bow maker for that bow. But it's just a little bow. And I put that white cream colored or white bead in the middle. And then I take some little of those red beads and go in the corner each corner of the um, burlap trim. I had never been able to get that at a Dollar Tree and I don't remember where I found it. This one doesn't have anything. I was out of town and I was able to get um, some ornaments. I plan on doing something with those and what else? Um, not much, but I think that turned out cute. And I put a little hanger on the back. I don't show me doing that because it's pretty redundant to show it every time. I just use jute, jute twine, tie some knots in it, and um, hot glue it. And I think that's cute. And for DIY number four, this is one that I tried the crackle method on it also. I have these planks from Dollar Tree. Um, they usually have those year round. And I have marked where I want to put the... Um, wood glue and then I did have to use some clamps and let it set up but I lost a lot of a lot of footage on this like I said I, I did the crackle method it didn't work again so I'm assuming it is my hair dryer um I lost where I had the I found that image in the vintage Christmas and I thought it was adorable and I 
put it in a sheet protector. It said something about my the file was corrupt or something. I don't know. I don't know if I I don't know what I did. So I have painted it in chocolate bar and I'm gonna distress it with antique parchment. And most of the footage got lost on this. I took, um, like I said, I put the image in a, to kind of make it look like a frame. In a sheet protector. And stapled it onto the, well I glued, uh, taped it onto the back. And then I took cardboard, some more cardboard box and stapled that and then I covered it with um, craft paper and put a hanger but when I went to add it to the editor it said something about some of the files were corrupt or something but I think that's adorable. I think it's a pretty little image. It uses a lot of ink. So thank you all for watching. And I hope you all have a great rest of your week. Thank you.